Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Jane Frank, Professor Norden Lab in Graduate School of Biomedical Engineering in University of New South Wales. Um, thanks to the organizer for this great opportunity to present our work in microfluidic mimicry of embryonic circulation that enhances the HOX-A hemogenic niche and human blood development. I'll start very, with a very brief background in biology. Um, the hemopoietic stem cells, which is also abbreviated as HSC, is the ancestor blood cells that can repopulate the whole blood system through the adult lifespan. The generation of HSCs from pluripotent stem cells in the culture dish is the holy grail to alleviate the shortage in HSC transplantation. However, this is not achieved due to our limited knowledge in human embryo development. The precursor of these rare stem cells can only be generated at the very early stage um, of the embryo development at a very specific intraembryonic site called AGM. This has been show, it has been shown that in mouse and zebrafish model that the establishment of the intraortic blood flow promotes the embryonic hemopoietic program that culminates the HSC formation. However, there's no equivalent human models to image the influence of blood flow on the hemopoietic niches. Thus, a lab on a cheap microfluid system are ideally suit, suited to microscopically observe cellular process at the single cell level and in real time using fluorescent molecular markers. Here, we develop a microfluidic culture system to mimic the study, to mimic and study the influence of parcetal fluid shear stress and circulations on an embryonic blood development. The device has a cardiac chamber, which is on the right side of the design, and a pneumatic actuated on chip cardiac valves, which are denoted as a re rectangular. They were connected to a microfluidic circuit to simulate parcetal recirculatory flow. The PDMS device were manufactured by soft lithography using 2D and 3D laser lithography. On top right of the slide, it is an SEM image of the silicon wafer mold on the cardiac valve side. The arc-shaped valves were 3D printed by Nanoscribe in NFF Queensland. Um, the rectangular shaped um, fluid channel were aligned and fabricated by 2D um, photolithography in ANFF New South Wales. The bottom left video shows the benchtop layout of a custom-made pneumatic control system. Electronic pneumatic actuation of the inlet valve, ventricle, and outlet valve was timed to generate a net circulatory flow with transient backflow. Modern right microscopic video shows that cells were inoculated in the microfluidic channels and it circulates with the media flow. We used an embryo stem cell line reporting SOC 17M cherry represents arterial vascular endothelial cells and ranks 1 CGFP for hemopoietic stem cells or progenitor cells. They were differentiated to form blood on the microfluidic chip. We also use small molecules SBNKI to manipulate the TGF beta and wind signaling pathway, which allowed us to pattern the embryonic development towards an intraembryonic HOXA positive hemopoietic niche culture. Here is a time lapse phase and the fluorescent microscopic videos recorded during the hemopoietic differentiation on chip from day 10 to day 17. SOC 17M cherry positive arterial like structures were formed along microfluidic channels, aligning with the direction of flow. We observed lightly tethered cells entering the circulation from the ad adherent layers, some of which are migratory SOC 17M cherry positive. In comparison, differentiation culture in steady flow culture in the parallel play flow cell at five dime per square centimeter generated a migratory sheet of SOC 17 M cherry positive cells that moved towards the flow inlet but failed to form SOC 17 M cherry positive arterial-like structures. Analysis of the device harvest, harvested blood 
progenitor cells in day 18 of differentiation, we showed that circulatory flow promoted the release of proliferatory ranks one c CD34 double positive blood progenitor cells into the circulation from sub-17 positive arteria-like structures that lining the microfluidic channels. We also compared the multi-lineage potential of device har harvested with the static cultured hemopoietic progenitors. Runks one c CD34 double positive precursor cells could form most of the blood cell types, including monocyte, microphage, granulocyte, erythrocyte, and macrocytic progenitors. Pastor circulatory flow has also particularly promoted the CD34 positive cell expansion. Also, on the sequencing of the 18 culture with another orbital shaking settings was used to confirm that circulatory fluid flow and shear stress favors an intraembryonic, which is HOXA positive, rather than primitive, which is HOXA negative, derived blood development, particularly promotes arteria endothelial cells and cycling hemopoietic progenitors. So, in summary, this is the first in vitro study demonstrating enhancement of human embryonic blood formation by fiado hemodynamics using a lab on a chip human stem cell differentiation model. Um, uh, so, this project is led by Associate Professor Robert Norden, and I would like to thank all the past and present members in Norden and GSBME lab as well as all our collaborators lab. Um, I would like to especially thank you NFF New South Wales Note and Queensland Note for their great help in this project and in fabrication of the device. I would also like to extend our thank you to ANFF South Australia Note um, to their enormous help in another project developing at the moment in the lab. Though I can't talk about the project at the moment, but um, for sure, it will end it with great scientific advance and um, great industry product. Thank you. Um, happy for any questions.